The Umbrella Academy is the latest superhero show to hit Netflix. With a breakaway from the Marvel shows that we usually see, it was refreshing to see a different style of show in not only the way that it was shot, but the style in which it was translated across the screen. With seven different powers in the group of superheroes, I thought it would be a good idea to put them up against each other and see which power is the best in the family. So, which is best? Well, let's find out. Before I go ahead, make sure you go over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. So, without further ado, I'm BrainPilot, and here is the Umbrella Academy Powers Ranked. Number 7. Luther. Don't get me wrong, having any of these powers would be great to have, but I'm going to start by saying that I think the worst power out of all of them is Luther's. He's the leader of the family, but having super strength amongst all of these, I don't feel it cuts above all of them. Even with his super strength, it looked as though he struggled to fight against Hazel when they invaded the house. Rarely do we see him use it in the show, but from what we saw, I would have to say his super strength doesn't even look that strong. Number 6. Allison. Allison has a power that is most similar to the villain in Season 1 of Jessica Jones. Number 3 is able to manipulate people into doing exactly what she wants them to do. This is by saying the phrase, I heard a rumor. Again, this is a power that we don't really see the full capability of in the show. We see her use it when she was younger on criminals, and we also see her use it on her child when she doesn't get her own way. But the most powerful way that we got to see it used was when she told Vanya that she saw herself as ordinary. This lasted a number of years, in fact, most of number seven's life, so it shows us just how powerful it can actually be. But again, it just wasn't utilized that much in the show. Number five, Diego. Diego's power is one that I would say is an impressive one to have. He can hold his breath for an infinite amount of time and he has a throw that is highly accurate. These are two powers that I think are highly useful in battle. And as well, he's not that bad at detective work. We saw on several occasions during the show him throw knives and they were completely accurate. It's a skill that would always be useful to have in a fight. Number four, Vanya. Vanya's power is probably the most powerful out of all of the siblings. Her power is the ability of being able to convert sound into energy. You see just how powerful she is when she is able to break out of her soundproof cell and also the fact that she had to be tamed by being manipulated by number three. This kept her at bay and allowed her to think that she was ordinary, when in actual fact she was above all of them. However, although she is most likely the most powerful, I wouldn't go as far as saying she is the best power out of all of the family. Number three, Ben. Ben's power is one that we see very little of, but when we do, we see just how cool and harmful it actually is. Ben was able to summon demons and monsters from other worlds and able to use them against his enemies. Whenever it was used in a scene where there was a battle, you'd witness the amount of damage it would do by the amount of blood that you would see on him. Number two, Klaus. Klaus is another character that we never really got to see the full potential of, but we got to see a glimpse of it right at the end. Throughout the whole of the show as a viewer, we knew that he was able to communicate with people that are dead. However, we see his true potential when he is able to summon them to the world that he is in and allow you to see them and feel their touch. We see this in the final battle when he summons Ben and uses his power. It's a power that seemed pretty useless at first until the final episode. Think, he would be able to summon as many dead people as he could and he would essentially have an army. Number one. Number five. Number five is one of the main characters that you follow throughout the whole of the first season. It's down to him that the apocalypse situation is known and that the family are on this adventure. Number five possesses the ability of being able to travel through space and time, allowing him to teleport to either another room or another time zone. I think it goes without saying that we see the full potential of number five's power and the reason as to why it is number one on this list. It's a power that I think most people would definitely want to have. So there you have it. 
the ranking of the powers that the siblings have in the Umbrella Academy. If you want to see what I've rated many TV shows and movies, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. Comment a movie down below and I'll rate it over there. Over on the community page, I've started releasing polls. Head over there, have a vote and have your say in what videos you see on this channel. As well, if you want to support the channel in a different way, then I've recently set up a Patreon. Over there, you can get your hands on some exclusive content. Take a look and see what you think. What do you think of the ranking of the powers? Do you agree with this list? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.